What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing a unboxing and checking out this little multi-tool axe that I picked up off Amazon for about 25 bucks. It make for a good little Christmas present or a birthday present. Now this thing is pretty small. I'll put a link in the description of this video so if you wanna pick one of these up. I mean, honestly, I I wanted to purchase one because for 25 bucks, I mean, it's not a giant full-size hatchet, but it's a good multi-tool. And for $25, uh, it can come in handy if you're you know, out camping or hiking or hunting, fishing, survival, and car tool kit. Anyway, so I've already taken down the Amazon box, and this is how it comes. So you just open it up. This is basically what you get. There's nothing else in this box. Um, overall, it's it does have some weight to it, that's for sure. For as small as it is. It comes with this little case, Velcro, and it has a belt loop. So, you can put it on your belt loop and carry it on you. Um, I've already used it, but it, it actually comes pretty sharp. Uh, but I've already kind of doled it down by hitting it on the concrete by accident and stuff, chopping wood and just kind of testing it out. <clears throat> so this is a pretty good material. It's not going to... It's pretty typical, honestly. I don't know really what this does. But it does have the belt loop. Looks like there's like a little, you can put it, or you can put it straight behind here. Like if you don't like that belt loop, then you can put it back there. that would go all the way through. It does have some good weight. So you got, obviously you got the hatchet on this side. You got a little hammer on this side. And then um, it comes with this little thing here that pulls out. It's like a flint stick. So I've already kind of used it, but it does definitely work. So, of course, don't burn your house down. But if you wanted to start a fire, you could easily put that, put that on there and you know, scrape it off. And I'm not going to do it on the carpet, but any more than I already have. But anyway, um, it does work. So you could easily start a fire. It just opens up with my pushing in on these little tabs on the side. This thing opens up. And then that thing fits in there like that. Close it. Now on the other side, you have Looks like um, you have a a saw blade that it does lock, so that's cool. I've had a few different tools like this where they don't lock, and so then it's a danger. It's dangerous because it'll fold up on your hand. But this one actually locks with this little button right here, so that you can close it. It's got a. It's like six inches. I'm sorry, five. So it's got a five inch blade or a five inch saw. Now I have used this saw and it is really sharp. So of course it will still take a long time to cut any thick pieces of wood. But if you're out, you know, camping, survival, camping, tool, whatever you want to call it, and you needed to, you know, chop some some little pieces of wood, you know, about like Two inches thick or more three inches this will handle it no fun like no problem because that's what i was doing with it and then it cuts about two to three inches in diameter pieces of wood so and then you can just step on it and break it the rest of the way but that saw does work pretty good it, and then like i said it also has i don't know if you can see that but it does have a ruler on it and it's up to five inches Let's 
see what else does it have. It has a regular old knife. And I have used, no, I'm sorry, I have not used this. It is pretty sharp, but it could be sharper. So if you get it and you have a knife sharpener, maybe sharpen it before you take it out and use it. But again, it does lock. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a good safety feature. Let's see what else. It's got a bottle opener. And then this little part right here is like hex heads, different size hex heads. So I don't know what you would need that for, but it's like a multi-tool. So if you had like something that had hex heads on it and you didn't, you know, you needed to undo them or whatever, I guess you could use that. But I don't really know why that would be on there. But I guess it's a multi-tool because it also comes with the Phillips head screwdriver. Or straight, I'm sorry. Straight screwdriver. This is a can opener. Hexagon head. Or bolt. You can choose your different sizes. Like one, two, three, four different sizes. And then... I can't remember what this is right here, but this is a tool too. Not sure what it does. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a can opener. So we got a flat head screwdriver, a can opener, a sorted hex wrench, a bottle opener, a knife, a file, Phillips head screwdriver, a fish scaler, a saw, a ruler. Your axe. Oh, yeah. A fire starter. And then I forgot to tell you, this little thing right here is actually a whistle, too. So. I did use it. It does not work very well. I would say it's horrible for, represent, you know, saying that it comes with a whistle. And this is all you get. That's literally it. There's a little hole right there. So, you know, it's a whistle. This little part here. And this is the flint stick fire starter. But if you blew this thing really hard, it doesn't actually whistle like a, like you would think. So that's a little bit of a... Something that they could improve, you know. I mean, they could just make this thing a little bit bigger with the amount of space they have here. They could have made this flint stick a lot longer. And so you get more fire starter off of it. And then also you could they could have built a better whistle on this thing. But for $20, $25 total, um, it was like on sale for like 23% off on Amazon, like I said. But... <laughs> You, if you needed to use this as a whistle for somebody, they would probably never hear you. It would be better just to yell. And I guess if you can't yell, maybe throw something. I don't know, but it's a horrible whistle. There's no doubt about that. I will I will say that. Nevertheless, it's a whistle, but it's a bad one. <clears throat> it does, like I said, it has some good weight to it. So, you know, you could do some chopping if you needed to. And then moving on to the last tool. Which is your fish scaler. Right here. On both sides. There is a file. And then you have your Phillips head screwdriver right there. So, for 25 bucks, honestly, that's why I bought it. For, I mean, 25 bucks. Um, it's not bad. I'm sure there's some way better purchases on there, you know, for different prices, obviously. But this is the one that I wanted to try out, so I got it. 
Rover Rover Tack. And uh, it does work pretty good. I mean, like I said, I cut a whole bunch of little branches with it, about two to three inches in diameter, and I chopped a whole bunch of it. And this is pretty, it comes pretty sharp too, so you can actually take the stick, and if you needed to make a spear out of it, you can, you can actually use this to sharpen up pieces of wood to make stakes. You know, and then you can nail them into the ground with this part right here for like some bushcraft type stuff. So then night, you know, nighttime comes and you bust out your little fire starter. I'm not going to do it big time because I don't want to start anything on fire, but it does work pretty good for the fire starter. For a whistle, it is horrible. It's useless, in my opinion. But twenty-five bucks. I could see me using it. Put it on my belt loop. Maybe in my backpack. If you go on a hike or something, if you you can even use it as a little weapon, you know, or self-defense, like from animals or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to use it for, but it's pretty good. <clears throat> of course, I will be getting me a full-size hatchet, but, and then one that's not a multi-tool, you know, just a solid, straight, like, tactical hatchet. I do like the ones that have the hammers on the back. Those come in handy, because you can use them to, if you make, if you make spikes to you know, nail in the ground or whatever for like a campfire or whatever to hang your, hang something above it to boil your water or whatever, then you can use this to hammer the spikes in the ground or the stakes that you make. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description. I'm going to pick one up uh, for 25 bucks. I think it's worth it. All right. Thanks for watching.